Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to install some 2.4 GHz RAM and then get it up to the actual 2.4 GHz as this RAM is 2400 OC. Now this is Corsair Vengeance, CMZ blah 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 and it is 2 times 8 GB sticks and it's going to utilize the XMP Extreme Memory Profile. Now we have the old RAM in here and this is on my motherboard we have the Memo K button. What this will do when I put my new RAM in, it'll wipe the overclocking settings for my old RAM and set it up as the default setting on the RAM. So instead of being 2400 MHz, it's actually going to be, I think, I think it's 1333 MHz on these. And we have my old RAM in here, which is 1866 MHz. Uh, this did a similar thing, you have to actually overclock it to get it to the right area. Uh, take this out, my motherboard, you need to note, only has a clip at the top. Uh, that proves to be an issue later in this video. So here's the new RAM, the 2400, and I'll show you the difference between this and the old RAM. So we've got 1.5 volts compared to 1.65, and you can see the old RAM is 1866C9, and the new RAM is 2400C10. Now the C10 is something else entirely, but it's showing the speed difference. And the issue I have is I was too busy setting up for recording and trying to point out that the key is there, so you can only put your RAM in one way. Now if you look at the bottom of the RAM, so where the clip is on the other side, you can see it's not quite in right. Now this was a failure due to trying to film it. That's, that's, that's all it comes down to. So you've got to make sure your RAM is in at the top and the bottom. I don't understand why RAM doesn't have clips on both sides anymore. It used to be standard, I don't get why it's not there anymore. So if you have a RAM error, Here's a good example. You end up with a flashing red light if you have a light on your motherboard. And even the memo OK button can't save me at this point. But eventually I realised what I'd done. And I turned on the PC. Wait for the light to go off. And as soon as you've heard the boot noise, you know you're in the clear. So we've got a RAM overclocked automatically because I kept the turbo power unit switch on to 2200 MHz. And if we go into the actual EFI, we can fix the overclocking because that one failed. And if we go to the over AI Overclock Tuner, change that to XMP, so Extreme Memory Profile, and that's it. You select Profile 1 from this one, which is actually the only option you've got, and you're done. That's, this has automatically set your RAM up to the right speed, to the right voltage, and with the right timings. It's a fantastic idea that I can't understand wasn't implemented right from the start. It makes overclocking a lot easier, and I'm sure that's kind of what the EFI was designed to do. So thanks for watching everyone, see you next time.